grade 8 math number 2.1f, the negative exponent rule. I'm going to go over this really quick with you again. This little orange 4 is the exponent, and the a would be the base. In this one, the little orange 4 is the exponent, and only the a is the base. The 2 is a coefficient that's just kind of coming along for the ride. Only this a is the base. So this would be 2 times a times a times a times a. Because remember, when they're next to each other, that means multiplication. OK, if we see it in parentheses, that means the entire thing is the base. The 2a is now the base together. So that means 2a times 2a times 2a times 2a. See? All right, so the negative exponent rule says for any non-zero real number a and any integer n, a to the negative n is going to equal 1 over a to the n. What it means is, if we use numbers, 3 to the negative second power would be a fraction of 1 over 3 to the second power. See? As soon as you see a negative exponent, think fractions. But the base can't be a 0. This can't be a 0, all right? Negative exponents are a way to write a fraction without actually writing a fraction. 5 to the negative second is a way of saying 1 25th. Okay? When we had positive exponents, we multiplied the bases together. With negative exponents, we divide the bases. It's the opposite. It's the inverse. So take a look at this chart here. We've got 3 to the second power, 3 to the first power, 3 to the 0, 3 to the negative 1, 3 to the negative 2. And what's happening is this one means 3 times 3, which would be 9 over 1 if it were a fraction, right? Because it would be 3 times 3 is 9. We can write it over 1 as a fraction. 3 to the first power would be the 3 over a 1. It equals 3. 3 to the 0 power is equal 1, like we explained in the last video. And this one, 3 to the negative 1, is going to be 1 third. See? It's now become a fraction. This one, 3 to the negative second, is 1 ninth. And these are reciprocals of each other. 9 over 1 and 1 ninth are reciprocals, and 3 over 1 and 1 third are reciprocals. And as we go to 3 to the third power to 3 to the negative third, those would be reciprocals. So because the base is a 3, this 3 here, each time we take away one exponent, we take away 1, see? We're dividing this base by 3. And if the base was a 4, then each time we took away an exponent, we'd be dividing by 4. And if the base were a 2, every time we took away one little exponent, we'd be dividing by 2. So see what happens with the base? So this is what's happening. 3 to the negative second, this one right here, what it means is 1 divided by 3 divided by 3. Now, I know when we did the positive exponents, we just did 3 times 3. But we could say that it's 1 times 3 times 3. See? Because that would still be 9, wouldn't it? So, 1 divided by 3 is 1 third, and 1 third divided by 3 is 1 ninth. We get 1 ninth. It could also be written as 1 divided by 3 times 3. See? So remember, fractions are just little division problems. And when we see a negative exponent, it means fraction. Okay? And fraction means division. All right. So take a look at these two. We've got a 6 to a negative uh, second power multiplied to 6 to the second power. Now, remember when we were multiplying the bases, we added the exponents? Well, negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. See? So this would equal a 1. And it shows it here. Now, if you're really confused, go back to the previous video and watch zero power rule. Okay, that's going to explain all of this. So if we have negative 2 as an exponent and a positive 2 as an exponent with the same base, they're really reciprocals to each other because they equaled 1. See? When multiplied together. That's the definition of a reciprocal. It equals 1 when they're multiplied together. Now, if you're really confused about reciprocals, 
you can go back to my get ready for algebra number nine video and it explains all about reciprocals, okay? So we've got this six to the negative two and it equals one over six to the second power. See that? The negative sign got taken away as it got written as a fraction and that's one over six times six or 136. With the positive exponent, it means six to the second power over one that would be 36 over 1. And 1 times 36, 136 times 36 over 1 equals 1, right? Because it becomes 36 over 36. And the numerator and denominator are the same. It equals 1. All right, take a look at this one. We've got 4 to the negative third. It could also be written as 1 fourth in parentheses with the little 3 exponent on the outside. We took it from being a whole number to being a fraction and this negative 3 became a positive 3 because we turned the base into a fraction. All this means is 1 times 1 times 1, see it's 1 to the third power, and 4 times 4 times 4 as a fraction. Well, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times 4 times 4 is 4 to the third power, so it'd be 1 64th. We can change the base to its reciprocal if we also change the sign of the exponents. So if we've got a negative 2, we can make it a positive 2 if we flip this around to its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 3rd is 3 over 1. Now we've got positive exponents. So now we've got 3 times 3 over 1 times 1. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 1 is 1. We've got a 9. See? So remember, the reciprocal is the flipped around, upside down version of the fraction. Okay? Remember that? All right, so that's the negative exponent rule, and that's what happens when we have negative exponents. Just think fractions, okay? Because it's really just a 1 divided by that base divided by that base, where when it was a positive exponent, it was 1 times the base times the base. See? Now, one last little point is when we're at 8th grade math and we're trying to get to ninth grade math, you have to think of it as we're building this bridge to get across. And this is a bottomless pit. When we understand all the concepts, we walk across because we built the entire bridge going across. Now, when we don't understand all the concepts, we only understand a few of them, you still might be able to get across and jump, but it's going to be way harder or you might fall. So try to understand as much of these concepts as possible. If you're confused, go back a couple of videos. All right? It wouldn't hurt. Each video is what? Anywhere between 3 and 10 minutes, 3 and 8 minutes. That's 8 minutes of your life at the most, but it might make your life a lot easier, okay? We're going to talk about the power rule next. I hope to see you there. Bye.